Okay, everybody, listen, God didn't design you to carry weight, drop the dead weight. In this video today, I want to shed some light, maybe, possibly, why you feel so burdened and why you feel so heavy laden in your spirit. You know, when you try to put your hand on things that God want to control and take care of you, this is where you feel the most burden. This is where you feel the most weight. You know, God didn't design us to carry weight. So cast every care that you have upon God. God said, just throw it on me. What's worrying you today? God said, throw it on me. He said, I got it. What's bothering you, family of God? Give it to God. Cast all your care upon him. You're saying this is just too much for me. You're telling the truth. It's too much for you. So why are you trying to fix it? Why are you trying to carry it? Why are you trying to figure things out that God has already worked out? God said, give it to me. Give me all those impossibilities. He said, because it's not impossible with me. God loves impossible situations. God loves those difficult situations. God said, give it to me because I know what to do with it. If you're heavy laden in your spirit, if you can't have rest, if you feel burdened, that means you're carrying weight that God didn't design you to carry. God didn't design you to carry weight. He said, lay down every weight and sin that so be easily beset us. Every sin, every weight, whatever's causing you to be burdened, whatever's causing you to be heavy laden in your spirit, whatever is just causing you to be so weighty in your spirit, God is telling you to throw that thing down. Throw it down. Don't carry it. The enemy wants you to be so weighed down in your spirit. He wants you to so, be so boggled down in your mind that you cannot make one step toward the things that God has for you. Don't let the enemy rob you of your today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow has enough cares of its own. Worry about today. And don't put off today for tomorrow because tomorrow isn't promising any of us. Whatever you can do today, God said do it today. God is going to back you up, family of God. I don't care who didn't back you up. I don't care who wasn't there for you. Forget those people who blocked you, you thought. They didn't block you. They saved your life. They didn't hinder you, family of God. They helped you grow. They hindered themselves. You as God's chosen, you as God's remnant, you can't be stopped. You can't be hindered. Just stay connected to the Most High God. Whatever you do, stay hooked up to God. You know, so many people want to hook up in life. So many people are so entitled in this generation. So many people don't want to go through anything to get what they want out of life. And you'll never get it. This generation is a microwavable generation. This generation wants something handed down to them. Let me tell you about something that's always given to you. You won't value it and you won't pre appreciate it, family of God. You won't. You got to work at it. You got to work at it. And you got to keep working at it. And when you receive it, you're going to work to keep it. God said, throw that stuff down that's bothering you. Cast it. How do you do it? Give it to God. And every time the enemy brings it back to you, because that's his job, to harass you mentally. Every time the enemy does this, give it back to God. Whatever negativity he's giving you, you better give this stuff back to God. And you got to know the word of God. If you don't know the word of God, the enemy will tear you down. On the inside, he, he'll eat away at you. You got to know what the word of God said. What are you dealing with? Is it a marriage issue? Is it a business is issue? Is it a health crisis? Is it a financial crisis? Go back in the word of God and pull the meat of the word out. Go back in the word of God and pull out the rhema. Glory to God. There's a rhema word inside of the word of God. Listen at the rhema word. God said, give and it shall be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, shall men give into your bosom. Pull out that rhema word. Remind God of his word. You know, God tells us to remind him of his word. Did he forget what he promised us? He didn't, but he wants to hear what he said from your mouth. The angels that you have assigned to you. Do you know you have angels assigned to your life? And the angels are standing right beside you. And what are these angels ready to do? You commission your angels to go. You tell them every day, go angels. You bring this in for me. You bring this in for me. But they're not going to move until you say something. The word of God tells us that angels hearken unto the word of the Lord. That means you got to speak the word of God for your angels to move, to work on your behalf. Can you imagine 
the angels that we have that's assigned to our life to assist us in the salvation of our loved ones. We know salvation is a gift. We know that. We know that people got to receive it. It's a gift. You don't have to work at salvation. It's a gift that you receive. Just receive salvation. You don't have to work at it. Send laborers in the pathway. Tell your angels. If you have unsaved loved ones, you commission your angels to go and send laborers in the pathway of everybody that you love that need Jesus. You pull out that rhema word. If you're having a health crisis, God say I'm Jehovah Rapha. You got to stand on the word of God, but you got to know it to stand on it. The enemy will defeat us all day long with what we don't know. God said we perish, we die, for and spiritually die. Listen, darkness is spiritually dead. Light means to be enlightened. That means knowledge, wisdom, revelation, understanding. That's what light is. The enemy kills us with what we don't know. If you don't know what you have a right to have, the enemy is literally going to destroy your life. This is why you got to get in the word of God. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of the living God. God say, throw all that stuff on me. He said, I got it. It's too much for you. It is. You told the truth. God is telling you, I want it. I can take it. I'm big enough. He didn't design you to fix your problem. You can't fix your problem. You can't fix anybody. No, you cannot. It's God's job. Let God be God in your life. He has to be Lord and Savior. He has to be both. He got to be Lord and he has to be Savior of our life. We got to allow God to govern and rule our life. We got to give this precious gift of the Holy Spirit free range to do what it wants to do. The Holy Spirit will always lead you and guide you in the right place. And it's always going to lead and guide the right people to your life. Don't, don't, don't doubt God. Whatever you do today, don't, don't doubt God. Don't. And don't let what you've gone through in life doubt, doubt yourself, cause you to doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself, family. Life is nothing but a learning curve. We are still learning. We are still growing. I don't know everything, family of God. But the things that I do know, I am so willing to share so that you can grow. You know, you have so many people that are so knowledgeable in, in, in their intellect and even in spiritual things. And they don't want to share this knowledge with people. That's a bit selfish. God said, to whom much is given, much is required. Much is required of you. Get busy with your life. Get busy with your life. Be confident. Hold your head up. You don't, you don't have anything to hold your head down, family. Your situation could be so much worse. There is so much. There are so many horrible things happening in our country. You can look at different countries and see what's going on in different countries. You, you can see how blessed you are here. You Maybe you don't have everything that you need. But you do. God will give us what we need. Not want first. He will give us what we need. According to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. God know what you need. He know what you desire before you even before you even ask him. So you may ask, well, why does God want me to pray? Why does he want me to ask him when he already knows my need? Because he wants you to trust him. He wants a relationship with you. He wants to build that trust. You can't trust anybody you don't have a relationship with. In a marriage, business, and God either. If you're having a hard time trusting, maybe you are not close-knit enough to God. Maybe you need to draw closer to God. And how do we draw closer to God? We draw closer to God through his word. We draw closer to God in our prayer. Our prayer is our direct line of communication with God. Starve your, starve your doubts to death, family of God, and work your faith. The word of God will work, but you got to work it. The word of God will work. You know, this is why some people succeed and some people do not. Because some people just don't want to put the work in, family. And when God don't do what you whatever you want him to do, family, this is when the enemy will get you. He'll tempt you to put your hands in things that you should put your hands in. Don't leave God and cheat on God and go to the world and get what you thought God wasn't going to give you. He will give it to you according to his will. The will for your life is the word of God. You want to know what God will is for your life? Pick up the word of God and pray for understanding. Pray that the Holy Spirit will open up your understanding. I pray today that your eyes of your understanding will be open. And I pray that God will give you an ear to hear, just like Revelation tells us. Let he that hath an ear hear what the Spirit of the Lord says to us. All of our five senses, what we see, touch, taste, and feel, all those senses that God gives us, 
as a born again believer, as a child of the King, God wants us to train those senses for the realm of the spirit. The physical eye that we have, we have to naturally see in our physical world, but God wants you to tune your eye in the realm of the spirit. And you will never know anything in the realm of the spirit if you're not close to God, because God is not going to reveal anything to you. God has good things for you, family. Don't worry. If you're worrying, stop praying. If you're praying, don't you dare worry. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Hashtag, don't worry. Hashtag, have faith. Jump over to my Instagram and give me your support over there. And Nikki G. McCray. I love all of you. Don't y'all get scammed on my channel. You guys see the scammers in the comment sections. I tell you this religiously every single day. Because so many people are still asking me, Prophetess Nikki, you sent a WhatsApp. No, I did not. Anything you need to know about me, family, is in the description box of the videos, okay? I love all of you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for all of your support. I love you. When people come for you in a negative way, they'll let you know you're doing something right. If you're being harassed, they'll let you know you're doing something right. Just stay the course. God will see you through. You don't know what to do? Just walk until they tell you to go in a different direction. I love you. Talk later. Bye-bye.